I'm sure that you guys have heard about the infamous battle we had with seafood. Which was, oh my god, I, I think it started with me telling, telling the boys that I really, really want to try sushi. I want to try authentic Japanese sushi. Oh my god, the sushi. Oh, the sushi we had. So, you guys know me very well. I don't like seafood. I was having, like, different seafoods, and I really don't like seafoods, but I was trying them, right? They wouldn't enjoy sushi. <laughs> and a lot of seafood, which is, like, almost the best part of Japan. Yeah, I, I don't like seafood. Ike actually was like, hey, you know, we should try seafood. We should try it out. And so we went to a sushi place. It was this, like, hidden underground place with a course menu so it's a set menu no choices everybody gets the same thing brought out in these waves but you know my my perception of sushi as it turns out is very narrow because when i think sushi i think nigiri sushi that's it but in my tiny little like coconut of a brain I just deci decided in my head that, yeah, nigiri is all that there's gonna be. No. No, there was a lot more than that. And then, the challenge of the evening had only just begun. For next, we were presented with a round of raw yellowtail tuna. And I sat there and I readied myself for battle. Readied myself to do battle with this food. We had some, there was sort of some white cuts of fish and some red cuts of fish in this little bowl. And I stood there and I waited, and of course, said my little saying, Okwarengonishimasu! Brought me another beer, of course. I needed lots of it. I can't remember what beer I was having. I think it was Kirin. I was having a lot of, I was having a lot of beer. And I was worried. I thought, raw fish, this is the last thing I ever thought I would want to eat. And I got my chopsticks, and I slowly, I bent down, and I gave it a sniff, and it didn't smell too fishy, and I thought, maybe, maybe it won't be so bad. I took a bite. And I loved it. And I loved it. I thought it was delightful. I scooped the other one up and I put it straight in my mouth right away. And of course it came with a little side of wasabi and I was running it around in the wasabi and I was eating plenty of it. And I was loving every single morsel that I was eating. I thought it was so beautiful. But the white cuts of tuna that I had first weren't even anywhere near as good as the red cuts. The red cuts were presented on this little mint leaf. And I picked up the mint leaf with, with a piece of this red tuna in it and put the whole thing in my mouth and it might have been the best thing I'd eaten all day. Uh, I tried tuna. It tasted so unlike um, and tuna's actually not that it bad. It's not as bad as I thought. I don't know. Cooked tuna taste tastes like completely tuna. different to yeah, raw like tuna. I like completely different. Texture, um, because I don't like tuna, normal tuna. Really sure you know, like, like you know you get in a can or whatever, it's a canned tuna. Uh, it's not for me, but I had like raw tuna, and you know what? It's not bad. Not bad at all. It's a whole new world, and it was at that moment that I realized I don't hate seafood. I just hate British seafoods. We got all of these various times. There was like yellowtail, which by the way wasn't bad. Like there was tuna, which I liked, and then there was like squid. There was shrimp, there was some other thing, like, I can't even describe what they looked like. Then came the sushi itself, vinegar rice, wasabi, and a very expensive cut of some kind of seafood over the top. There was shellfish, there was squid, there was a lot of different fish, and I didn't know what it was, but I knew it was fish. And I had the squid, and I ate it, and I thought, oh god damn, this is good, but then I looked across the thing, because I was tasting the wasabi, right, and I loved it. I look across the- I look across the table. And there is Mr. First of all, squid did not taste nice at all. I really did not like it. It made me feel sick. It was really chewy. And you have to chew it to like, swallow. But it was really chewy. And then the rice underneath was like vinegar rice. And I really, 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 really hate vinegar. Even the smell alone makes me gag, but I don't want to spit it out and be rude. So I kept it to the side of my mouth and I was chewing it so slowly. And like, I'm not even kidding. 
tears were coming out of my eyes. Like I was, my eyes started watering up and I started crying because it was so disgusting for my mouth. Look at him, my boy, Mr. Reeves, what's wrong? What's wrong, mister, what's wrong? And he has tears in his eyes and, he's, and he looks at me and with this fearful expression, he says, bruh. Nah, 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 nah. And he, but he's got like a little bit, he's like, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you assholes. They were like pointing and laughing at me. Like while I'm fucking like crying my eyes out, especially Shu. Shu was dying. Like his face turned red from how much he was laughing. Yeah, and I was laughing the entire time. <laughs> Cause it was funny. It was funny. She was the friend that would point and laugh. Well, Ike pointed and, and laughed at uh, Voxa and Mista when he gave them caviar toast. So it was just the Uno reverse, except it was sushi this time, and, and me just eating sushi and then just laughing at. It <laughs> literally came up in, in the in the conversation. Like I, I gave it a full on try, but a lot of them I was I just ate chewed and I just made such a kind of expression when I was like chewing them just looking like I wanted to embrace oblivion some of the time Luca was also contemplating embracing oblivion when he was just looking down and he just kind of went dude I, I don't know man I don't like this <laughs> I tried out squid for the first time in my life and And Shu was just looking across from me and just going, <laughs> like laughing at me. Ike was like, I can't believe you're laughing at us while we're just suffering, struggling through all this. And Misto was like, you did the same thing to us with caviar toast. <laughs> and then no response. He could not refute that. <laughs> yeah, they were dying. And, and then uh, me just like, oh my gosh, Lamal. They're dying. <laughs> And there's this one, like, meat sushi. And they're like, oh, yes, finally meat. <laughs> the whole group, minus, like, me, was like, yes, finally meat. Let's go. We're finally eating meat. We're finally being fed here. And then inside the sushi was also, like, ikura, which is, like, fish eggs. And then Vox was like, Get that, get that crap out of here. I, I am not eating that. No, no, get it out. Get out, get out, get out of there. Get out of there. No. And just takes the piece of meat and then like ignores everything else. None of the rice, none of the, none of the fish eggs, everything just out there and just eats the piece of meat and is like, that's good. <laughs> I'm just like, what? <laughs> no, it was nice. Yeah, you paid so much just to meat sushi. What? Very, very pog. Very, very pog. The point of the sushi is just not there. So everyone hates seafood. Well, at different levels, some enjoy it more than others. Some enjoy some fish more than other fish. Uh, Mista just hates vinegar. So R.I.P. Mista. Yeah, it was funny though. I mean, they're dying. It's not a. Uh, yeah, people, people dying uh, is not funny, but but it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think they'd enjoy uh, other cuisine. <laughs>